Hi friends, welcome to this class. In this class, we are going to discuss about preparation of solution. In last class, we discussed about sorry, sorry, sorry. Last class, we discussed about preparation of solution. But in this class, we are going to discuss about discuss about precipitation of solution. How we are going to precipitate? So, in last class, what we do? What we did? We 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 made that uh, into solution. We brought that solid form or any form into solution. So let us see. We have got here a solution. So what we do is the next step: precipitation of solution. So we have got solution here. So what we do? We dilute this solution. What we do here in a beaker? We take this solution and we add about. If the solution is 10 ml, let us say 10 ml. We add. Around 90 ml of water. 90 ml of water. So it comes to be like this here. So what we are doing here? We are diluting the solution. Diluting the given this analyte. We are diluting the analyte. Why we are diluting? That question I need to answer you, right? So we add a 90 ml of water. That we are diluting the analyte. If you dilute, what happens? See here. Initially, in 10 ml, all analyte will be here only. If I dilute, the the volume increases 100 ml. So analyte will be scattered here and there, everywhere. Homogeneous homogeneous solution. Why will you get homogeneous solution? Because it is soluble in water. So we will get homogeneous solution. The analyte will be distributed throughout the solution. In a beaker, right? We take beaker of 250 ml. 250 ml, we take a beaker, and so that the analyte is distributed throughout the solution. Then we add a suitable precipitating agent. Our aim is to precipitate this analyte, right? So we add suitable precipitating agent based on the nature of this analyte. I am considering Fe3 plus. Fe3 plus be the analyte. So what I am going to add, I am going to add a precipitating agent, I will add ammonium hydroxide and this precipitation agent should also be dilute, why it should be dilute, that thing I will explain and its concentration is 1%, 1% ammonium hydroxide I am going to add, 1% meaning you know, it is nothing but 1% means 1 gram of ammonium hydroxide I will take to it, I add 100 ml 10 ml little first 10 ml of water I will add I will dissolve it and further I will add 90 ml so that I will get 100 ml of solution 100 ml of 1% ammonium hydroxide solution I will get that is 1 gram in 100 ml of water gives me 1% ammonium hydroxide solution that is 1% ammonium hydroxide solution I am going to add. Why I am going to add only ammonium hydroxide? The reason is it gives OH minus. So 3 OH minus will react to form FeOH thrice. And this is known, we know this is precipitated. So I will show it by downside arrow, precipitated. And the color will be brown. The brown PPT we will get. The PPT is because of FeOH thrice into XH2O. XH2O. I have not written, but it is XH2O. Its composition is not known right so what i did i took the analyte i diluted why i diluted so that analyte should be distributed throughout the solution if analyte is at present only at the bottom if i add this one percent ammonium hydroxide it may precipitate like however but if i in this dilute solution if i dilute ammonium hydroxide the precipitation will be selectively that is only this Fe3 plus will be precipitated as like this and other water molecule won't precipitate if the, because the solution is dilute if the solution is concentrated then the pre precipitation will be very fast so some errors may occur but here no error and also why I added 1% ammonium hydroxide the same thing the precipitation should, should occur slowly so that the error will be less if precipitation occurs like cut border if it if it is the case then there will be error right so uh, everybody tells be cool 
while taking decisions right we should not take decisions when we are extremely happy or ex- when we are extremely sad otherwise that will be unstable only we won't get that good precipitate so dilute solution of analyte and dilute solution of this suitable precipitating agent we need to add so that we will get a, a precipitate and the pre- rate of precipitation will be slow but we will get a precipitate and also this if we add this uh, dilute precipitating agent it keeps this Q value less if Q value is less if Q value is less R, RSS value will be less because both are in numerator right if nu- numerator is less this will be less if denominator is more then only this will be less if denominator is less this will be more so this thing you know it is simple mathematics so if i add dilute ammonium hydroxide precipitating agent it keeps q value less if q value is less rss related to supersaturation will be less if related to supersaturation is less we will get crystals this crystals FeOx type PPT into XH2 that crystal will be of large size that thing I have discussed because RSS RSS is inversely proportional to size if RSS is less the size will be more if size is more surface area will be less surface area is less contamination will be less right this is about this we add dilute solutions right and the second thing is this reaction this process is carried out in elevated temperature we carry out this reaction around 60 degrees celsius then question is why we carry out this in 60 degrees celsius why at elevated temperature that's the question why we carry out 60 degrees celsius is see here what we are getting we are getting FUH thrice ppt into xh2o ppt so this is nothing but crystals we are getting if I am carrying out at this high temperature, so solubility of this crystal, this uh, this uh, crystal will be more. If solubility is more, again RSS will be less. If RSS is less, surface area, this size will be more. If size is more, surface area will be less. If surface area is less, contamination is less. So we are carrying out at elevated temperature. About this, I explained in last class, right? So, I explained why dilute solution and also why at elevated temperature. One more thing I got but forgotten. Let us see. And also, then, and also some errors will be there. Let us see, right. And one more thing. And while adding this precipitating agent, what we do? We take that glass rod and we continuously stir it why we stir so that we make sure that every fe3 plus ion should react this with this oh minus ion to get that crystal feos thrice ppt so we make sure that the whole solution is delocalized that is we, we minimize the localization effect if you have directly localization effect occurs only this uh, this amount of Fe3 plus is suddenly precipitated and our remaining may not precipitate. So to avoid it, we stir. By stirring it, what happens is it again keeps this Q value low. If Q value is low, RSS value will be low. So we stir, we use dilute solution, and we we make this all reactions at elevated temperature. For all the three I have explained, and if you if you were asked in exam, you need to write everything right. One more thing, so yes, this is all about this uh, precipitation of solution. And also see, if if we add little bit of more concentrated this, then what happens? The error suffers. The error occurs. I told. What kind of errors? There are two kind of errors. One is co precipitation, precipitation. Other one is post precipitation, post. Precipitation. Precipitation. These are the errors occurring in this precipitation. Co-precipitation and post-precipitation. About that, I will explain you in next class. Right. So this is all about precipitation. The errors in precipitation will be explained in next class. See you.